Okay, this is a beginner's guide for using the open cart shopping cart software. It's more of a guide not for installation, but um, a beginning customer guide. So what should a customer do to set it up if, if you've given it to them? Um, so this is this is the uh, open cart software up here. So you can see it's just default installation at the moment. Um, administrate, this is the root URL. Uh, yours could be myshop.com. Um, the important thing is that you type in forward slash admin to get to the admin area. So we're going to log in here. So changes you make in this back end will affect how things appear in the front end. Before I go into the details of how to add products, the first thing you're going to want to know is how am I going to take payment for the products that I add. So an important thing is to go into payments within extensions decide which payment extension you want to pay with a lot of people are going to want to pay with uh, PayPal and your install now this one's already installed so you can edit here the important thing to look out for is to make sure you've entered in your email address um, that you use to set up your PayPal and that if you have a, PD, a PDT token you install that here as well that's a uh, security but there are other things you can authorize here but for the main thing is make sure that your PayPal is integrated here because otherwise you won't be able to take payment. Um, other payment extensions exist, so you may want to consider taking payment with something else, but you choose whatever you want really. The next thing is to make sure that your shipping has been set up, so for the moment it's done, done flat rate, so you can edit the details of the way that you do it. So I might want to have UK shipping as an option and have a set cost but there are other other ways you can do it so you can integrate directly with parcel force for example so if I was to edit this you can see that the rate codes are here um, so you've got weight and then cost so 12 is 20 pounds but anyway that's beyond the point so let's go on to now on to how to configure the site from a perspective of adding categories and products um, so let's say you want to add a download that's going to be associated with a product. You go to the download section and you can insert. I'm showing you this first because this ties into categories and into products. So you tell the download name and you can choose a file. So I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose my Christmas list. So you might want to add this on every single file, so I'm going to save this. So now this download can be added to, added to products and categories. So let's say you, up, you uploaded a, a product you wanted to have a, a downloadable guide alongside it. This is the way that you would do that. So these lists can be set to anything. First, you're going to want to add a category for your product. So these are the default categories that come with the installation, but let's imagine we deleted all these. Um, to insert a category, you click insert, and you set your category name for here, keywords, description. It's important that you fill these out um, so that you can be indexed Google properly. Think about what you use as words. Don't just use anything. Try to think what are people going to actually search for, and that's the same with your description. So you want to you want to fill this with information about your product. Use loads of words. Um, higher chance of product being indexed. And data here, look, you, you can uh, you can select parent category. So you might decide that this thing that you're adding is going to go within components. Um, it's going to be default store, and then S any SEO keywords are here. You can add an image. I'm not going to, and then you set whether the category is enabled or not. Sort order is just if you want things to appear in different orders, um, it will order by default by the sort order so let's say I wanted this to appear at the bottom I type in a high number here um, so let's save that and you can see there your product your component uh, category has gone in there and you update it on the store you see that within components there it is and at the moment there are no products within that so let's add a product now um, actually let's add a manufacturer so, so let's say you've got a load of products that you're going to want to be with my manufacturer. So let's say you got my menu here, get some details, and then when you create products, you can create them within that manufacturer. Let's go to products, 
you can see a big old list of them here and you go insert same old thing really um, enter in the product name again be careful about what you think of in terms of your keywords product tags are interesting for being listed properly um, data you can set things like model numbers minimum quantity that you want ordered maximum quantity what tax price whether it requires shipping costs any SEO keywords and image associated with it what dimensions the product comes in links um, these are basically links to other products within your site so you can set these up and have related products along with them as well it's quite handy um, but interestingly here you can see that we set up the manufacturer earlier there's a manufacturer there there are further options you can add here um, they're just things that people can essentially select but let's not go into that you can add discounts to your pricings here so you might decide that if you've got a customer grouping and we'll talk about that in a minute you might decide that if they order a certain amount that they get a certain price and then there's, there's a time limit on your offers um, same thing with specials really um, and this here is where you add multiple images to your product so you might have four five or six images you want to add you just click add image you click on the image and then you can you can see where within your within your image folder um, what images you want to use or you can click here to upload one so that's the main thing really to adding a product um, the other thing to realize is that you have customers on your site um, so you've got users that can sign up when they use the system and you can see that within here um, so you can add users yourself but they actually register um, so you can see here that but you can also add other administrators who can edit this back end which is interesting another thing to consider is that you can have user groups I showed you earlier about having the the groups that apply to having different prices and stuff like that well here you can set set the different users and what they're able to do but if you're unsure of what you're doing keep things as they are so there are other things you can do like edit information about what countries you'll ship to what currencies you support um, interesting things about stock so these are the statuses of stock you can have so let's say you have a product that you know is going to be in within a few days you can see so it's it's going to be there within two to three days so let's look at products here let's edit this one you can set the stock status here to say it was out of stock it would, it would then be out of stock so I know this product will be in within two to three days so we set that and then click save and then on the site it will be updated um, the next thing to realize is that once your site set up and once you're able to put payment you're going to want to be able to actually process orders um, so I suppose within your PayPal you'll see what orders have been made but you can also see um, within sales orders that have come in and what customers you've got on the system and the customer groupings on the system here you can set coupon codes so you can associate a product to a coupon code and then they get some sort of discount um, but the important thing is orders so if you come into here you can see what orders have been made clearly at the moment this is just in test mode so there are no orders so I can't really go into it much more depth but it gives you a good idea the next thing is um, let's say you hit a roadblock there, there is documentation so in, on the open cart site you can go into documentation you can see information about extensions tweaks and all this sort of thing um, if you really wanted to you could buy a book on it but the interesting thing is uh, this area there is a, uh, a support community so if you go to the community forums you've got an array of questions answers bug support and all this sort of thing so if you have any questions um, it's really good to air them on this forum and people can answer them so I recommend joining this really recommend joining this but yeah so that is uh, sort of a high level overview of open car and how to get going with it if you've never really used it before and, and you know you just got it installed and want to know what to do next really so if you're wanting any open car shops set up then we offer that service the scorchsoft.com website development website de design and web application development um, 
So if you like OpenCart and you want a host to put it on there and so you can use it, visit the site, send us an email and we'll see what we can do.